Okay, so I wanted to do this just because, well, life kind of sucked today, so I wanted to do a small video while my husband's out eating dinner and my son, well, one of our sons is downstairs and the girls are in bed and Ezra's in bed, so I have a little bit of time. Um, as most of you know, my husband was previously married to somebody else. Uh, this was quite a while ago, actually, because me and my husband have been together, um, almost six years, and so, you know, it, it was about a year before me and him got together that they had been previously together, but they'd been rocky relationships. So anyway, you know, I've, we've been dealing with this person for almost six years. <clears throat> now, the way that me and my husband met was through her, sadly, she was my friend, or at least I thought she was, prior to me and my husband getting together. But, since me and him got together, she has literally become this really just evil person. And when I mean, when I say evil, I mean evil. I'm not lying. Um, the things that she does are so just, you wonder what she's thinking and what her reasoning is behind doing them. So today... I'm not going to go into specifics because I don't feel that it's necessary for people to comment. I'm just doing my video to vent. Um, anyway, I don't feel that it's necessary for people to comment on the specifics of the situation, but let's just put it this way. I guess it's going to be hard for most people to understand if I don't give specifics. <laughs> but the problem is, is that she doesn't let us see the kids. Um, and although it's court order for my husband to have visitation on Mondays and Tuesdays from 3.30 to 7.30, which is the stupidest freaking visitation, and it's only because he didn't contest it when she initiated the divorce. So, because at the time me and him weren't together. So because of that, that's where it's been. But we don't ever see them during that visitation. And if we were to bring that up, um, we would only be able to see them at that point in time, and that's it. We wouldn't see them any other time at all, but uh, we're getting to a point now where we might have to force the visitation just because of the fact that we don't see them anyways right now. Um, we have continuously asked her uh, if we could have the kids on specific days or um, for special, um, like we have special things going on or we're going to have a party or, you know, we just want to see the kids. And she has asked us to uh, let her know a few days in advance, which we do. Um, there have been on occasion, a couple occasions where something has popped up last second, and we've asked for the kids, and she says no because we didn't ask a few days in advance. So that's fine. You you want to play this little game? That's that's fine. They're gonna miss out on a, a good opportunity or have some fun with us because we didn't know that we were going to be doing it. So anyway, so so as of late, we've been trying to really plan out everything a little bit better instead of being so spontaneous because apparently we're not supposed to be a fun family, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and the whole problem is, is that when we do ask her a few days in advance, she tells us that the kids are busy. and, or that they have plans, or it's still not enough days in advance, even though, like, it's two to three, or sometimes more advanced days than that, um, and yet, when we end up talking to the kids later on, find out that they had nothing planned, they didn't do anything, they didn't go anywhere, um, so it's a little frustrating, and then on top of that, she has, um, made my husband feel very guilty, about calling the kids, which he was doing for quite a while until all of a sudden she wasn't answering the phone, the kids weren't answering the phone, and she'd say, well, you didn't actually call. So it's just been a bit frustrating, to say the least, and then today was the topper of all toppers because she's telling us, instead of asking us, that we have to pay for extracurricular activities for the kids instead of saying, hey, you know, our daughter is interested in, oh, well, their daughter, my stepdaughter, is interested in doing softball, 
this is what the cost is, would you guys be able to help out? You shouldn't do that. It's, this is how much it is, you guys need to, you have to give us this money by this time. We don't have that. I'm on disability right now from C-section. We are struggling immensely right now with finances, just paying our bills. I mean, that's, we, we have no extra money for anything. Um, it's hard to have extra money when you have as many kids as we do anyway, which is why I got fixed in the first place. But for you, for her to sit there, I mean, and she's got more kids over there than we do here. Um, well, no, yeah, no. Well, she's got her stepson with them. So she's got her four, two with my, two with my husband, and then she's got two with her new, her new fiance. They've been fiancés for six years. Um, and then she's got her stepson, or her, her stepchild, or I don't know how, what you consider him since they're not married. Um, but they do have a total of five children over there, and we have a total of four. Um, but I don't, I think my whole problem with today was is that she is expecting to be able to guilt my husband into doing something that we just can't do. We're not able to do it. We can't pull this money out of our butts. Uh, she's already getting child support, so that that's already getting going to her. I don't know, you know, why she's expecting us to foot over any more money when we don't have it available. We just don't. Had she said a couple months ago, said, hey, our daughter's thinking about doing this, you know, could you guys help us out? in a couple months, that would have been a different story, because then I could have said, yeah, we could probably save up 10 here, 10 here, 10 here, you know, we could have saved up the money to, to do it, but the problem is, is that we didn't know about it until last week, and she wants the money this Wednesday, by 7 p.m., she tells my, hu my husband, I'm so frustrated by this woman, because she does this to us all the time, she's always constantly making these demands on us. Um, and it's not for things that the kids actually need. Um, like, you know, I can understand if she said, hey, the, the kids need a backpack, or the kids need something for school, or the kids need clothes, or, you know, whatever. I get that. Um, ignore the fact that I'm going to drink Pepsi, even though I shouldn't be. Sorry. My throat's been really itchy. I've had a really bad cold the last few days, and then on top of that, they said I got sinusitis, and it's been really affecting my throat, so I have to drink something with bubbles in it to help, which is, I know sounds strange, and I'm going to cough anyway. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, it, it would be different if it was something that they needed. Um, would we be able to still provide for them? Not right now, no. We'd have to say, well, can we get it for them, like, next month? Because then I could put it in our budget. We could save up whatever extra we have. We can make sure that we have that money available. So, no, you know, it it wouldn't make a difference right now on what the reasoning is behind it. It's just a time factor. It's like, can you at least discuss it with us instead of saying what's going to happen and demanding us to pay? I, I, I just don't get this lady in I just don't get it. You know, she does this to us all the time about not seeing the kids. We haven't seen the kids in gosh knows how long. And then to top it off, she's expecting us to pay all this money for extracurricular activities, we, you know, instead of asking us. And I just, I, I don't know. I guess on some level, I wish that, I wish that we had the money to do this. I wish that we did because then we wouldn't have to deal with her crap. And I would rather just fork over the money because seriously, I could care less. I'm like, I would rather just fork it over and give it to her if I had it or give it to whomever, you know, whatever activity it is for so that way I don't have to deal with this person. But we don't. And she, I don't know what she expects us to do. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go without diapers for my kids just so that way my stepdaughter can play softball. That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm not going to not pay my water bill so that way she can play softball. I'm not going to, you know what I mean? I'm not going to not pay a bill so that way she can go play softball. I'm not going to do that. I have to make sure that I provide for my family too 
And if they're getting everything they need, I, I hate to say it, but if you can't afford yourself to pay the whole entire, to foot the whole thing for extracurricular stuff, you shouldn't be telling us what we are going to do when you don't know what our finances are. I know I'm ranting, and I appreciate everybody that's listening, which is probably only a few of you, so. I know I mentioned on the, about this on Facebook the other day, and so I just, well, technically today, but I'm not going to post it for a few days. Hi, Bubba. You want to come say hi to the camera? Don't bump this, Kate. Come here. Don't bump the tape. Don't bump the, the screen. Come here. See that red dot right there? Mm -hmm. Now come over by my face okay. so everybody can see you. No, nope, come up. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Say how are you? How are you? <laughs> What's your name? Sebastian. <laughs> he wasn't in here just a minute ago, so he didn't hear what I was talking about. What are you doing? Huh? I want to all about my movie today. Oh, no, we're not going to do that. Can you believe he's four years old? Yeah, four. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you better go downstairs. Anyway, that's my rant. Thanks for listening and I'll talk to you all later.